And now, live from the Channel 11 studios, it's Great Day Houston. And here's your host, Whitney Casey. Are you looking for money and ways to save and you find it hard? Well, please welcome author of On My Own Two Feet, Manisha Thacker, with the keys to trimming that fat. Hi there. Hey, Deborah. Okie dokie. Um, we were talking before the show that it's just so hard for people to get started in saving. How many of you save regularly? Yeah? Was it hard Ooh. to get started though? Yeah. Okay. I started when I started looking at it as a game, and then you start to see your like checking account grow. It's not in a negative anymore. Um, then I was like going, okay, this is working. So it became a game to me and became fun. One of the things you say you have to start to do is to cut in order to earn. Uh, you say no BLTs. What does that mean? Right. So you know when you think about saving money, the first thing that comes to mind is, oh, let me look at my mortgage. Let me look at my car or my insurance. Yeah, but those are like fixed. Costs. Yeah. Those. So this is my suggestion. If you go to Weight Watchers, what they tell you is, if you're not losing weight, watch out for the BLTs, and they don't mean the sandwich. Okay. They mean bites, licks, and tastes. The stuff that kind of creeps in during the day. Uh -huh. Same thing with your money. So if you can't save, write down on a piece of paper for one month everything you spend money on. At the end of the month, take out that pen and start looking for the things that you can cut back on, things that maybe don't give you pleasure. Gym membership that you don't use. Groceries that are making you fat. <laughs> Eating out with people you don't like. <laughs> Voila, you save money. And, and picking up the tabs. So people you don't yeah, like right, and they right. go like, okay, it comes time to pay. There's always that one in the group. Do you know that one I'm talking about? It's like, oh, I, I forgot my purse. <laughs> yeah, all right, yeah. So don't, don't pick up the tab. All right, um, so all these other things like utilities are, are fixed cost. Okay, how bad do I want it? This is this is great because I started asking myself that lately. I would look at something and it really works, I think, when you walk around the store with it because then you feel like you already wore it, right? I'm like, let me just walk, let me get to know it a little bit. But I remember my first job ever, um, I bought a pair of shoes. My mom said, pay me back when you get your first paycheck. And I'm thinking, okay, my shoes were $60 and my paycheck, all of it was 32 bucks. <laughs> and my mom said, give it here. And I said, but it's like I have nothing left for gas. You should have thought about that before you got those shoes. And I had to make payments to her with my next $32 <laughs> paycheck. But the deal was how bad do you want it? If I had known that then, I didn't want those shoes bad enough. See, your mom is a smart woman. And you can take Deborah's mom's she's advice. She's evil, actually. But uh, no, 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 she's not. My mom, <laughs> no. Is, yeah, no, she taught me great lessons. She was hard on us, but she taught me great lessons. I didn't mean that, mom. I did not. <laughs> well, so here's a tool that you can use to translate Deborah's mom's advice into your own life. So you take your income and most of us, unfortunately, have to pay something to Uncle Sam. He typically chews up a quarter of our salary. Mm -hmm. So let's say you make $40,000. If Uncle Sam's taking a quarter, you're left with 75% of that. So multiply $40,000 by 75%, you get $30,000. That's what you take home. Yeah. So now what you're trying to do is divide that into an after-tax hourly wage. Most of us work 2,000 hours a year. Mm -hmm. So divide $30,000 by 2,000 hours. You're making 15 bucks an hour. So the next time a $150 pair of jeans or electric gizmo grabs you and says, buy me, do the math. If you make $15 an hour after tax and it costs 150 bucks, is it really worth 10 hours slogging it out with your coworkers? If the jeans make me look skinny, yes. But okay. <laughs> That's right. That's a great way to look at it because how many of you would be working, would be willing to work that many hours for a pair of jeans? I think most of us are like, ah, no, never mind. All right. Um, family saving, and we say family, not individual, but family saving is so important in terms of uh, determining how somebody can handle money when they grow up. Right. It's never too early to start talking to your kids about money. And so a great thing that you can do is make it a game, like you said in the beginning. So tell your kids, we've got $100 this weekend to spend on entertainment. And we can spend it all this weekend or some and save it. And and add it to next weekend's what we don't spend. Or we have $100 this week for groceries. Come to the store with me and help me decide how we're going to allocate. Yeah. And that shows kids from the get-go that there are trade-offs involved with spending money. Yeah, a lot of what gets us in trouble uh, is vanity and ego, keeping up with the Joneses, right? Uh, that's one of the things that's funny. Uh, Mike over there in the jewelry business is like, well, girl, I love your engagement ring. How many carats? Three. Um, I got a three and a half. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to get a four for my birthday. I'm going to get a four and a half. Okay. Yeah, the keeping up with the Joneses type of thing. Deborah, it is huge. Huge. And if you've ever wondered how your neighbors can do it, the dirty little secret is most of the time they can't. 70% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. Yeah, or in debt. 
and it cuts across income spectrums. I've met people who can save money on thirty thousand mm dollar -hmm. a year income. I've met people that don't have a penny in savings on salaries of over three hundred thousand. Yeah. Because a lot of what we do is, if we mm -hmm. if we are making this much, we want to live just beyond that, as opposed right. to you know uh, saving. So if you uh, spend more than you make, it doesn't matter how much your salary is, you're in the same hole. Yeah, and now we're. we're <laughs> and away from having a quarter is the way that I used to say that. Okay, um, and then the other thing was we see going on over there in the kitchen, sell your stuff. Yeah, most of us are swimming in excess stuff that we don't use, just like your jewelry. Go ahead, sell them your clothes, sell your shoes, sell accessories that you're not using anymore, and you can do it on eBay, Craigslist, all kinds of stores will help you do it if you don't want to do it on your own. Yeah, all right, Manisha, thank you very much for these tips. Great to be here, Deborah.